everyone, welcome back. Uh, sorry, fixing my mask. Um, as you can read from the title, uh, I'm gonna be uh, reviewing uh, an art movie. Uh, I just got done watching it. Um, it's a pretty cool movie. Uh, if you already know the ending, you're not really going to enjoy the movie that much. Uh, I knew the ending because uh, my uncle told me about it, but for the people who are viewing this review, I'm not going to spoil the ending. Uh, I'm not going to spoil the big twist. But you can see it coming uh, uh, when it gets to the middle mark of the film. Um, so here's Unhinged. This scene is in the movie, so it gives away one of the deaths. That's how it looks in the scene. Like, at first I thought it was a girl hanging. Like, on a noose? No. It's a girl laying dead. I won't spoil any of the deaths, though, because... There's only three. Uh, so it's not a body count movie. Uh, so don't think that. It's a slow burn. Uh, but I did like the characters. Um, so let's get started. Um, we follow these three girls. Nancy, Gloria, and... Uh, Nancy, Gloria, and uh, Terry. Uh, Terry's are main character, uh, Gloria, she's only in like a couple scenes, uh, and Terry, oh I already said Terry, Gloria is, uh, she just tries to help out people like her friends, uh, try to get away from the place, um, try to get in a their car fixed and whatnot. So, anyways, uh, got a niche news. They're going uh, out on vacation. I don't, I don't think it said where, but uh, it takes place in uh, Portland, I think. Does not say where it takes place. Only 80 minutes long, so it's not that long of a movie. Um, it doesn't say any info on the back about where it takes place. Um, it came out in 1982, uh, but it's got a 1980 interview with the filmmakers. But they're driving down the street just doing what all horror movies in the 1980s and 70s did. Kids on vacation, kids somehow get lost, get into uh, uh, some kind of predicament, end up uh, coming face to face with a killer. It's that kind of movie. But it's not a slasher film, it, so don't think that either. It's it's called an exploitation film, but it's not excessive on the violence. It's more excessive on uh, women hating men. Uh, so it's kind of got that feminist vibe to it. So Terry, Nancy, and Gloria are driving down uh, the road. They uh, swerve to avoid a stick, well, a branch. And uh, they end up crashing the car, hitting the tree. But here's why uh, they crashed. Uh, tried to swerve out of the way from the uh, stick. They couldn't see it uh, because it was raining outside. Classic horror movie cliche, I know. Um, and what happens? All three of them somehow thing and cuts the black. We meet Marion. Now, Marion, uh, she's an alright character. Uh, 
she has her moments of where she uh, looks like she's just going to, like, she'll creep you out. She'll creep you out, literally. Um, she's got a friend, I forget his name, I think it's Norman. Norman Barnes, by the way, uh, take on Norman Bates, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, uh, I could be wrong about that, but in my eyes, it's going to be a take on Norman Bates. Uh, and we've got her mother, Marion's mother, who is a total bitch. Like, I should never have to hate an old person because old, old people are experienced. They, they know their way. Uh, the elders are the ones who founded this land, I know. But this elder is terrible. Not a terrible actor. The actress did a really kick ass job playing a bitch. Uh, she hates men uh, because her husband had sex, uh, at least that's what I gathered had sex with an eight-year-old girl and that's pretty disgusting as is but on top of that he got away with it and uh, he's he ended up hanging out with all his friends and everything and moving away so he pretty much left his uh, wife and daughter to just there no more not seeing them anymore um, and the mother ended up taking that as all men are going to be like that. So what she did, she cut off men completely. Now she's not a lesbian, but she cut off men completely. Like no man is allowed to come in any contact with uh, their house. But uh, Norman... Uh, comes by when the mother is asleep, so Norman never really gets to talk to the mother. And Norman's only in two scenes, but the scenes he's there, uh, uh, the scenes he's there are pretty, uh, they don't add anything to the plot, but he's a, he's an alright actor, I didn't mind him. Uh, but, the, uh, Norman says, well, uh, if you want to get your car fixed, uh, they, you can uh, go out in, uh, there's two ways you can get to a uh, village. You can go uh, between the trees, and you'll get there within a matter of hours, or you can take the road, which will take you about three miles, two to three miles. So... Uh, the next day, Gloria decides t to go out there, get a uh, get a uh, some help, uh, calling the family, like calling uh, her friend uh, Terry's family and uh, Nancy's family. Well, luck would have it, the killer ends up coming. And the killer looks pretty damn cool. Um, first death. Now, some people are going to figure this out really easily. Not a machete, but you'll find out when you see the movie. Like I said, this scene is in the movie. So, uh, Gloria, not Gloria, uh, Nancy doesn't come back. Yeah, I think it was Gloria. Nope, not Gloria. It, it was Nancy. Nancy doesn't come back. And so, uh, the rest of the movie, it's Terry waiting for Nancy and figuring out what is the past behind uh, 
this house. And, like, there's got to be a reason why uh, she hates men. Like, her mother hates men. Marion mother. Uh, and uh, we learn about the father doing, diddling a little girl. Uh, and uh, the Gloria keeps on hearing. Uh, now, it might get a little bit perverse right here, what I'm about to do, but bear with me. Uh, she ends up hearing this heavy breathing club. And you see the point of view of an eyeball looking into uh, the showers. And you just get a close up of the eye for like a good one to two minutes and then it goes into the view of his eyes so we're seeing through the killer's eyes and you just hear me like what so it's got that really uh, psycho element to it like how Norman Bates would look into the peoples uh, at the hotel or motel but, uh, to make a long story short, uh, first act, uh, we're introduced to the family. Second act, we learn the past of the family. Third act, I'm not going to spoil because it will blow your mind for those who, who don't want uh, the ending spoiled, feel free to watch it. For those who have already seen it, tell me what you think. For those who uh, have seen reviews that talk about the ending, still, still see the movie because I, I had fun with it and I'm pretty sure you'll have fun with it too. Like I said, it's a slow burn, uh, but it doesn't change my rating at all, which I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 because it succeeded in what it was trying to do and that was pretty much telling you that there's a darker side uh, to the females so yeah and there's a really dark side to males as well uh, not much for special features by the way there's a comedy narration which I did not listen to behind the scenes production stills 1980 interview with the filmmakers um, it was banned and uh, Graphic violence, full nudity caused the English Parliament to ban unhinged in 1985. Okay, and I think this came out in 1982, uh, but it was talked about since 1980, like literally 1980, the year the Cannibal Holocaust comes out. So, give it a look. Um, the cover can be a little bit misleading though because uh, it might make you think, ooh, it's going to be a gore fest. Ah, oh, finally, an un uncut version of Unhinged. Oh, it's going to be a total gore fest because it's uncut. No. Couldn't be farther from that. It says uncensored version. I think that's mostly because of the nudity. And you see everything. Thankfully, no males, but you see the bush, you see the titties, and I think you see an ass, but I'm not, uh, I just watched the movie, and I can't really remember if you see an ass or not. But, anyways, hopefully you all enjoyed this little review. It wasn't a rant. Uh, I was expecting, um, to like this, but not as much as an 8 out of 10. So, it did its job right. So that's my review over Unhinged. Uh, I think it deserves more credit than what it gets. So I'm out. Peace. Hopefully you all enjoyed.